A potentially big boost in the fight against the pandemic. The first large-scale, real-world study of the Pfizer vaccine has found it's highly effective. In a promising sign for the global fight against COVID-19, the two-dose Pfizer BioNTech vaccine has been shown to be about as effective in the real world as it was in its trials. On Wednesday, the first study of the vaccine in the wild, conducted in Israel, found it was 94% effective in preventing the disease. It's now two months into Israel's vaccine rollout, which has been one of the fastest in the world. Until now, there's been some uncertainty as to just how effective coronavirus vaccines have been outside the controlled conditions of clinical trials. But Israel's centralized health system provides a rich source of data, showing that among those given both doses of the Pfizer vaccine, there were 94 percent fewer symptomatic COVID-19 cases across all age groups. Nearly half of Israel's 9 million people have already received their first dose of a COVID-19 vaccine and a third have already received both of them. As COVID-19 infections fall, Israel has relaxed its third national lockdown and reopened malls, shops, schools and many workplaces in the past two weeks. Recreational venues like theaters, gyms, hotels and even concerts opened on Sunday, but only for holders of a green pass, a government certificate showing they have either been fully vaccinated against or recovered from COVID-19 and presumed immune. Also on Wednesday, Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu said all eligible Israelis aged 16 and older were expected to be vaccinated by the end of March, allowing a full reopening of the economy by as early as April 5th. Sanjaya Senanayaka from the Australian National University Medical School joins us live now for more on this. Sanjaya, how much of a relief is this report? Oh, look, I, I think it is a, a great relief because we always know that the phase three trials, though they were performed very well, they were still trials. This is real life, and we are seeing very good results. So even in this Israeli study, if you only received one dose of vaccine, sort of two to three weeks after that, there was a 62 to 74% chance reduction in severe disease, in being hospitalised, in dying. And if you'd had two doses of the vaccine and looked at seven days after that, it was around 90%. So, which was fantastic. And it also, look, it wasn't a randomised controlled trial, which is our highest standard of trial. It was an observational study, but it was very large and it had similar findings to the phase three randomised controlled trials. So I think it is very reassuring. Now, countries around Asia, Australia as well, have been rolling out vaccinations. How soon can we see an impact? Well, in Israel, we're starting to see an impact on hospitalisation of older people who've been vaccinated compared to unvaccinated groups. And that seems to be independent of other factors such as lockdowns, etc. So I think it will all depend on how quickly various nations get their populations vaccinated. So certainly as soon as we start to see those high-risk people getting vaccinated, the elderly and those with chronic medical conditions, we'll hopefully a few weeks after that start to see a reduction in hospitalisations. Uh, but really to achieve that herd immunity, we're hoping to get about 75% of world populations vaccinated and currently with two doses of vaccine. Well, meantime, the COVAX initiative has begun rolling out vaccines to poorer countries as well. Sanjay, what challenges do they face in the success of their immunisation programmes? Oh, look, enormous challenges. Uh, this is probably the most audacious global public health intervention of all time. And it's a struggle even for developed rich nations with a lot of infrastructure so for developing nations, even though they are used to rolling out vaccines, to roll, to roll out so many in such a timely manner is going to be very difficult. And that's why once we wealthy nations in Singapore and Australia 
have finished doing our vaccinations, we have to make sure that the rest of the world gets vaccinated. Otherwise, new strains will appear, which will make the current vaccines less effective. And getting vaccines to countries is one thing, but getting them into the arms of people is quite another. Tell us about vaccine hesitancy and your thoughts on it. So look, every country will experience vaccine hesitancy. And as you say, it's hesitancy in the majority of cases. Uh, there will be some people who will who are anti-vaccine and will just not take it. But there are a lot of people who are on the fence. And particularly with, with COVID, they've seen a very rapid rollout of these vaccines and their concern. So I think it is really important for governments to continue to be open and transparent about the vaccines, about their vaccine programs, and continue to educate and encourage people to have the vaccines. And releasing results like the Israeli trial today is extremely reassuring and will hopefully get some hesitant people to decide to get vaccinated. All right, Mayor, thanks for speaking to us as always. Sanjaya Senanayaka from the Australian National University Medical School.